Welcome back. We're gonna do the one cue challenge. Let's get into it and then explain. Alright, so I get to play Senta this game, so let's play Senta. And the idea here is that we get to play against an engine that is embodied in a bird somehow. And the notion is here we have 10 seconds per move. Uh, use it or lose it. And the idea of the 1Q challenge would be to try to win so many games, or two games in a row, or two out of the first three. Basically just get some run of where you have three games that are consecutive and you've won two of them. It would be the 1Q challenge on this site. Ah, true. I am also a bird. So I shouldn't hold anything against birds here. Okay, let's promote. And I could be completely off base here. Wait, can I push this? Oh my goodness. Uh, I have invited complete disaster somehow. Probably. So, uh, I have to take this, right? Last time I played this, uh, we're going to go back and try to survive this somehow. This is like learning to drive a car, I guess. Okay. That's rude. Alright, I take your bishop. Fine. So, you don't have a bishop anymore, so I'm just going to run away from whatever you drop. Um, I have two bishops and no idea how to use them. I have a pawn. Would it be terrible for me to use my bishop and my pawn somehow together? Seems like it would be a reasonable thing. So I'm attacking here. Hey. This is a... I think this is a pawn. Hopefully that's a pawn. Yeah. Okay, so I've coerced their rook to move there. Um... Maybe I want to scroll slightly down so I can better see what I have in hand. Oh, goodness. Uh, please don't checkmate me. Wait, how is that... Oh! I thought I was going to move here. My mistake. Thanks for the game. Alright. Uh, let's try another, shall we? Good luck. Okay, we're going to push this this time and see how the bird res or the other bird responds. This cute little bird murders me in the opening. But it's cute. Somehow this would be much more painful experience if the bird were not cute. But since it's a cute little bird, you know, we can withstand whatever hell it serves out. So I'm just going to bring this bishop and silver out and not pay attention to this edge. And maybe that's fine. Maybe it's not. If they disconnect their silver and bishop, then I can push. Okay, I don't understand this. Okay, the bird gave me a pawn because it's feeling generous. Let's enjoy this generosity together. 
So this is why it's the one cue bird, is that it doesn't always play the perfect move. Not even close, but the one cue bird, its strength varies from turn to turn. And sometimes it'll just outright hang stuff the way a human might. Um, so it's relatable, but also, yeah, I'm losing to a bird. But this time I'm not losing yet. Give me time, I'll find a way, but so far I'm doing fine. I might actually win a game against this bird. Uh, let's bring our bishop out this way, even though we've not played static rook. And then we can bring our silvers to the center. Uh, and attack along file 3. This bird is in such a hurry. Where's the fire? There's the fire. Alright. Well. Okay, I still don't understand. This bird is playing so bizarre moves. I must have it really concerned about something. So generally in this opening to prevent tactics you drop the rook back. So I drop back my rook. And I think I've played this opening reasonably well. I went on time because the bird refused to move. Victory is mine. All right. Let's try another. As for why the bird didn't move in time, not my problem. Good luck. Let's play fourth file rook. Only because we've played every other file so far and like those haven't worked, so maybe this one will work. Okay, we can build Mino and put our king back here <clears throat> and then prevent the bishop from entering this way. Make some progress toward hitting the bishop. Bird's probably going to play Anaguma Castle just to make things interesting. Yep, called it. All right, I'm not happy about that, by the way. <laughs> So, um, yeah. Now the bird just has to wait for me to hang something. Um, wait, wait a second. I can make this difficult for the bird. So, or for the opposing bird. Um, I'm going to take the center square. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Um, I open this board in a way that it can't be closed. And I don't know what to do next. I mean, I've done this before, and it's not great. So I offer my rook for the bishop, because I don't know what else to do here. It declines, because it doesn't have to take. These captures in this game are optional. So I continue my attack. Wait, no, I have a piece in the way of my rook. Okay, that's a mistake, because I can promote here. This gives me a free knight for a pawn. Uh, I suppose, why not? It's trying to prevent my bishop from promoting. I've never seen the bird make this many, the opposing bird make this many mistakes before. Something is up. Did somebody rig this bot? 
If so, thank you. But also, why? Maybe it just struggles after it gets to a certain search depth. Okay, now my rook is actually hanging. So let's go ahead and promote it. And I say let's go ahead and promote it. And okay, you're not letting me promote my rook. And that's fine, I guess. Wait, I can exchange here. Then after that, oh, I've hung my silver. I missed that. I'm so obsessed with getting this promoted. Fine. So I'll tack closer to the castle. Uh, I'll attack the silver here. Silver gives way so I can promote my pawn, thus attacking the lance. Um, that's bizarre. Okay, the bird exchanges a silver for a knight. And expects me to just lose my castle here. So let's try to keep it together. Uh, we'll break up their castle and promote. And then have a rook battery here. So we're threatening mate. Also threatening a gold. The bird easily pairs both threats. Much to my annoyance. All right. I'll continue attacking somehow. Um, let's promote here, I guess. Does the bird have another pawn? I don't think so. It does. It has three pawns, in fact. But those pawns don't help it, actually. They just slow down the inevitable. Um, okay, I should have seen that. Barge. Um, I'm not happy about this. Oh, right, it takes my lance. Oh, fudge. What did I just capture? A knight? That's not going to help me defend this at all. It would help if I knew which piece is which, wouldn't it? It's like knowing how the pieces move would help me play better. Alright, let's take one of those. And then move up the board and get checkmated. I think it has another gold, right? Yeah, it has two golds. Thanks for a game. Well played. Alright. So, yeah, out of three games, I lost two. But I did win a game. So, we'll take that feather and keep put it in our cap and try it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think the game record is only available immediately after I play the game. I'm not analyzing these games afterward, because, I don't know. I think just the experience of playing this is enough. Um, reinforces that there are some things I don't know so well as I know others. For example, figuring out how to break this castle and not get my pieces shut down. is It's not easy, but it's something that I need to figure out how to do better. Uh, I do know how to win when my opponent gives me all the pieces, or when they don't move, but in such a case like this, there's much more to figure out. 
So hopefully that was fun.